Hey, what's up, YouTube? Surreal Canine here. Yeah, let's get to the title screen. Hey, what's up, YouTube? Surreal Canine here. We're playing Explorers of Sky again. Uh, let me think. In the last episode, we had a run-in with Team Skull. Uh, I talked to you a little bit about Abram's history, uh... You know, there's stuff going on. We're just gonna continue our adventure and, uh, see what else is up. Oh yeah, that Lunatone on our team. And good old Buck. Alright, let's see what our goal is today. <clears throat> it's sentry duty! Eh, yeah, alright. That's fine, let's, uh... Got ourselves a little warmed up on a, on some sentry duty. No problem. Let's hope I get it perfect again, because uh, that would be very nice. Got my mouse ready here. Let's go. Uh, let's see. It looks like it's Charizards. I'm not sure the uh, the point score is uh, very important. Let's see, that hair across here. Yeah. You can kind of group the footprints by various things. By like uh, various uh, families, I guess. For example, this is probably Eevee because it's got a paw pad in it. Of course, he could be an absurd, crazy town man and just memorize all 493. Um, trap inch, probably. That looks like it could be Rhyhorn. Pretty sure Don Fan does not have as big of a. Uh, Claws is at. Let's see, that is probably. No, not Fampy? Yeah, Poochiana, okay. What? Oh, it's Bulbasaur. Eh, okay, almost perfect. Merely adequate. Oh. <laughs> or 50 and an Ornberry. Eh. Okay. <laughs> well, we can't get it all perfect, I guess. Everyone, I have an announcement before we get down to work. Let me introduce our new allies. <clears throat> allies? What? More new apprentices? Golly, I wonder what kinds of Pokemon they are. Hey, over here, please. It's Team Skull. Who thought this was a good idea? <laughs> These three are our new partners. Whoa, -ho -ho! I'm coughing. Uh, I mean, I'm Tox. <laughs> Gotta start remembering names again. Uh. <laughs> Sonic here. Glad to meet you. And I'm Team Skull's leader. I'm Stanky. <laughs> Remember it. <laughs> Especially you two. <laughs> well, you're already acquainted. That simplifies things. These three aren't joining us as apprentices. They'll be joining our expedition to lend us their assistance. What? 
Why are you so shocked? Paul, sir, it's nothing. That one always overreacts to every little thing. <laughs> mm, very well, then. Anyway, the Guildmaster has made her decision. She's decided that having this trio take part will make us stronger on the expedition. However, it would be impossible to coordinate teamwork if we were to begin working together right away. Therefore, we've decided that the trio should live with us for several days. Though it will only be for a short while, I ask everyone to treat our guests with hospitality. Doesn't Mr. Paul think something stinks about this? Literally? Ew, how can the Guildmaster stand this? I sure hope this expedition ends soon. Yep, yep. Alright, everyone, let's get down to work. Hooray. <laughs> Methinks uh, Mr. Paul has no sense of smell. <clears throat> What's this? Where's the usual spirit? You gotta be kidding! This stinks! How do you expect us to be cheerful when... What? what? You... You... No! The Guildmaster! Her rage is building! The Guildmaster gets angry. It'll be horrific. Everyone, come on! Be cheerful, even if it hurts. All right, everyone. Let's get down to the day's work. Hooray! Cho, <laughs> glad to have met you. Whoa! <laughs> Something's definitely suspicious about them, for sure. I don't know what they're scheming, but we'd better be careful, Daniel. Ah, you two. Take care of the jobs on the board today, okay? We're counting on you. Well, alright, I suppose. Ugh, our Guildmaster is really a special guy. Special in all sorts of ways. Team Skull is kind of scary. <laughs> I guess I would get to enjoy this fine ripe aroma for a while yet. It's another thing that makes me happy. <laughs> oh, by the way, I'm almost done repairing my swap cauldron here. When done fixing it, I'll be sure to let you know. We'll finally learn what I'm up to here. <laughs> so yeah, I guess Gilliam being a fellow poison type would be just fine with this. But I am not! You! This is all your fault! Ugh, ugh, ugh. I strike you! Friendly friends, keep up your training! And Izzy is just being Izzy. Let's see what it. Oh, it's Buck's Diary. Let's check it out. Buck's Yup Yup Journal. Ooh, seems it's been a mighty long time since I apprenticed at this here guild. I get so frustrated being so klutzy and slow. Yup Yup, don't I know it. I'm a slow worker, and it takes me longer to learn than others. Ooh, I sure miss my whole and folks. Yup Yup. But, I can't be what I want to be if I admit defeat now. No siree, by golly. Yup Yup, I have my big dream. I'm surely gonna become a first class explorer, yup. And that's why I started this here diary. It's a way for me to keep track of what I'm made of. Yup, yup. Tomorrow I'll hold my head up high. I'll get things done. Happy time. Yup, yup. I'm happy by golly. Oh, why am I so downright happy? Well, finally. Finally, I got junior members under me. Ooh, this is some kind of wonderful. And the two are both so friendly and kind. I feel so lucky, yup yup. I gotta set a good example for my new pals. I have to be better, yup yup. Yeah, I'll do better starting tomorrow. Oh no. <laughs> I didn't realize it. After you take jobs on the bol job bulletin board and outlaw notice board, to actually do them, you need to use take job on your job list. I didn't know that, so I went to dungeons without first activating the jaws of that take job command by golly. Oof, it's no wonder why I could never do my jaws once I got to a dungeon. I finally understand why Mr. Paul's always so upset with me by golly. <laughs> a 
a little bit of a fourth wall shenanigans going on here. <coughs> Exploring with Sonny. Sonny is some kind of awesome. Yep, yep. I went exploring with her the other day. It turns out she's a real expert in fighting in dungeons. When enemies just out of reach, she doesn't move toward it. Instead, she uses A to launch her regular attack, striking at nothing. Then the enemy usually spends that turn closing the distance on her. Then on her next turn, she's the first one close enough to hit. Yep, yep, she sure knows what she's doing, by golly. Why, I wanted to whoop and holler when I saw her use that trick. So thrilling. <sighs> As for me, I always rush into a fight. So I end up being the first to get hit. It's alright, I reckon. I know the way to do it now, can explore better now. Yup, yup. Moves are awesome! Well, seems there was another thing I was clueless about. When you use moves instead of regular attacks to defeat an enemy, you get more experience points. Did everyone know that but me? I didn't know that, but there's more. You need to hit the foe only once with a move. Other than that one move, you could strike it with regular attacks and you still get the boosted experience points. How about that, by golly? Moves also have higher critical hit rates than regular attacks, so you're cheating yourself if you're not using moves. I'll be using more moves starting tomorrow. Yup, yup. So, I did exactly what I promised I would. I used lots of moves while exploring. I used my moves so often that I ran out of PP almost right away. Oof. Exploring is never as easy as it looks, I reckon. Gas attack! Something was sure a surprise the other day. I was checking out the outlaw nose board when it suddenly stank like rotten sulfur. But then everyone turned around and looked at me like I had something to do with it, by golly. I swear, I really had nothing to do with that awful stink, by golly. I know I've been guilty in that past look that time in my room once, then twice in the mess hall and once in the guildmaster's quarters, but... By golly, I sure am not guilty of anything this time, I swear. Whatever you say, Tim. <laughs> See what Sonny has to say. Did we read this one already? Oh, why do we need lots of food? Well, as you move around in a dungeon, you'll get hungry as your belly empties of food. If your belly gets empty, you'll get weaker and weaker until you faint. Oh my gosh, terrible! Buck is a little short on experience, so I'll back her up, him up. Her, yes. P.S. I plan to write about how my exploration went with Buck. Now that should really be something to look forward to. Yeek! Which, again, makes me think that someone may be peeking at my diary. Oh my gosh, how horrifying! <coughs> I promise and now I'll deliver. Here's my report on exploring with Buck. Oh my gosh, I was amazed at how little Buck knew about exploring. An example, if anything besides you, pushing Y will make you face it easy, right? He didn't even know that! Well, it only needed was a little coaching. When I taught him, Buck picked things up quickly. He's not so bad after all. Oh my gosh. We got the job done, too. Another fun day. Oh my gosh, I had a nasty scare the other day. While exploring a dungeon, I was careless and took a hit from a fire-type move. Silly me. I'm a grass-type, so I ended up taking a lot of damage. Eek! I should really explain what all this is about. As you know, Pokemon come in many types, like fire and water. All moves have types too. The matchup between the attacking moves type and the defending Pokemon's type affects damage. As a grass type, I should really watch out for fire type moves. Knowing how types match up is so important. P.S. When I got into trouble because of all this, it was Shoop who saved me. Thank you, Shoop. Another time I yelled at him, I said, Oh my gosh, Shoop! I never want to go exploring with you ever again! But eek, I'm ever sorry for saying that. I take back everything nasty I said. I wonder if he would go to a dungeon with me ever again. I think I'll go apologize to him sincerely tomorrow. Yes, that's what I will do. I'm sorry, Shoop. I hope we can keep on being teammates. Mystery! Something very mysterious happened at our guild the other day. We were in the guild when- Oh my gosh, the place was stunk up by this atrocious stench! Oh my gosh, I'd like never experienced such a foul cloud of fumes. It was an eek worthy moment. But everyone denied responsibility for it. But like, there's no fooling me. Oh my gosh, I know what I smelled and there was no mistaking it. Eek, how mysteriously it crept up upon us. Who is the culprit? Eek! <coughs> as long as she doesn't think it was Buck, I guess. Alright, well. 
Uh, that kind of happened in the way of shenanigans. What do you three have to say? I think there's a Mexican standoff going on here. <laughs> Nobody is happy about this. <laughs> uh, let's see what's in our bag here. Uh huh. Let's see. What can we do today? I think we might try our hand at a C level outlaw. Uh, what's on our job list? Yeah, okay. Alright, let's load up on missions in the drenched bluff. Yeah. <coughs> Find yellow gummy. Huh. Alright, let's see. Who should we take with us? <laughs> it's okay, Belle. It's only for a little while, right? Hmm. Let's say we take a Shellos with us. put away a bunch of this stuff, it's fine. Actually, though, I'm probably going to want to hang on to these three sleep seeds. And just in case uh, the outlaw proves to be problematic. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Stash some of our stuff. Uh, Big Apple. That's probably pretty good. Guild is preparing for an expedition soon. Alright, Tornico, what do you have to sell us? Eh, uh, we can't actually afford any of this. Okay, fine. Actually, can we? How much do we have in the bank? Oh yeah, we can afford something. Let's take... There. Oh. <laughs> oh, never mind. I was looking at the wrong number. Yeah, we can afford this. We can afford one gummy anyway, and I'm going to take the blue one, I think. Actually, no, I'll take the yellow one. Uh, give it to Abram, I suppose. Into the cafe we go. Yellow gummy. Delicious. I wonder what it tastes like. There's eh, a. Uh... Okay, we're good. Oop! That was Magnemite. Uh, let's see what he got to say to us. Uh, let's see. Mount Bristle. 
Yeah, I guess I'll take it for tomorrow. Let's see. Alright. Five missions. Or three missions. <clears throat> Mixing up my numbers, guys. Alright, let's go. So now that we have the friendship bell, we can actually uh, recruit friends from uh, any dungeon except Beach Cave. Beach Cave doesn't allow us to recruit for some reason. Whoa. Jellos, you're not helping very much. You realize that, right? Wham! Oh. Let me think here. Oh yeah, uh, when I think when Daniel hit level 10, we learned a new tactic, and I completely forgot to mention it. Wait there, just to uh, tell the Pokemon to stay put for a while. It's, uh, I'm not sure what you would need to use it for, really. I guess in conjunction with some other th tactics, it might be useful. What is this guy even doing? <laughs> the world does not know... Alright, third floor. Our mission, should we choose to accept it? Find a yellow gummy. And Shellus leveled up. Cool. Slug, keep on slugging, I guess. There's a yellow gummy. Alright, on to the next floor. These guys are just kind of going down in one hit now. It's pretty great. So, uh... I guess I should talk about recruiting a Pokemon now. Recruiting only has a chance to happen if the leader strikes the killing blow, uh, as we just saw here. Yes, we will take an Anorith. Alright, Anorith, you are going back, I guess. <clears throat> Each Pokemon has a different recruitment crit rate. Uh, some Pokemon are just outright unrecruitable, but for others... Uh, there is a recruitment chance from negative 34.9% upwards. You get a bonus to your recruitment rate, uh, depending on your character's level and whether or not you are wearing a friend bow. Uh, so that, the maximum bonus you can get is, uh, exactly 35%, so, uh, the hardest, recruit the hardest recruitable Pokemon have a 1 in 1,000 chance of joining you uh, if you're, like, level 99 and have a friend bow. Of course, uh, there's only one Pokemon I can think of that has a recruitment rate that low, and uh, there's a very good reason for that. <laughs> I'm sure I'll have an opportunity to... Uh, yeah, discuss that eventually. It's another destination floor. Oh, I flinched. <laughs> Of 
When it says Daniel is cringing, it, it makes me just think of the cringe reel or something, I don't know. Say, uh, it's the perspective of a guy who has had too much access to the internet. <laughs> Yo, what's up? It's Shelter. Alright, so, on the next floor, we are going to run into an outlaw, and the first thing we will want to do is put that outlaw to sleep. Assuming we can, and their ability doesn't prevent it or something dumb like that. Let's go! It's Surskit, okay. And a zillion other guys, alright, well... Sleep Seed! Yes, thank you, Buck. That's uh, actually much appreciated, because we are about to get surrounded by Jokers in a second here. Ooh, yes! Para paralysis. That's good. PP Saver! Uh, that has a chance of giving uh, Buck a free move. Pretty nice. And the outlaw goes down. We can get out of here now. Mission accomplished, team. Good work. a scarf. That's nice. Special band. Also pretty nice, but I'm probably just gonna sell both of those. This is the bounty on the outlaw's head. Cool. So yeah, uh, all the seats at the guild are filled now. <laughs> it was for those three the whole time. <clears throat> that night. We just had dinner, but I could go for some more food. My belly will never get filled on grub like that. Alright. The guild members have all gone off to bed. Let's go find it now. Huh? Find what? What else? The guild's food stock. We'll find their food and give ourselves a proper feast. I like that thinking, Chief. Okay, let's get to it. Up and at him, it's morning. So... Yeah. This means we are probably going to have to go on some dumb mission or another to, uh, you know, restock the guild's food supply. And we'll see what comes of that next time. See you guys later. Bye bye.